some non-metals in nature. Environment is the union of Earth, living things and atmosphere. Environment is still existing because these factors are mutually balancing. Main factor among these are plants. They exist themselves and become the reason of existence of animal and human beings. We are depending plants not only for oxygen and food, but also for shade, building houses and also for preventing soil erosion. Our existence depends upon the existence of plants. Plants produce carbohydrates along with oxygen through a chemical process called photosynthesis. Elements in carbohydrates thus produced are carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Other components of food are carbohydrates, protein, fat, mineral salts and water. There are metallic and non-metallic elements among these. Water, hydrogen, oxygen, non-metallic elements, O2, H2, N2. Water and air has a major role in sustaining life. Oxygen Oxygen is diatomic and it is known as breathing air. Oxygen exists in nature in the free state as well as in combined state. 50% of the outer crust of the earth is oxygen. Let us see the table. Oxygen in nature, earth crust 50%, water 89%, minerals 45 to 50%, atmosphere 21%, vegetation 60 to 70%, animals 60 to 70%. Oxygen is the 16th group element in the periodic table. Atomic number of oxygen is H and the valency is 2. Mainly, oxygen is seen in water, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, mercuric oxide, ozone like compounds. Oxygen helps for burning. We use the oxygen in the atmosphere for respiration. Animals and plants too need oxygen for respiration. Millions of human beings, animals and plants use oxygen every minute for respiration. Will this lead to exhaustion of oxygen? No. Through the process of photosynthesis, oxygen reaches atmosphere again. Photosynthesis process happens in plants. This is the process of producing carbohydrates in nature. The process of photosynthesis is possible only for green plants. Plants are called producers because of this. In the presence of sunlight and using the carbon dioxide and water, which is emitted from animals, plants are producing carbohydrates. Through this process, oxygen is released. This happens in the leaves of the plants. Oxygen is a colorless, odorless gas which make up about 20% of the air. It is a very reactive gas. Many substances burn in this gas. Life on Earth depends on oxygen which take part in a chemical reaction called respiration in which energy is released from food. This energy is used to provide the power for all the processes needed to keep an organism alive. The equation for respiration. Glucose 
plus oxygen gives CO2 plus water. Glucose plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide plus water. Now let us produce oxygen. Take potassium permanganate powder in a test tube and heat it. Place a glowing agarbati into this test tube to identify the gas formed. You can see that it is burning. Agarbati burns due to the presence of oxygen. From this, we can understand that oxygen helps burning. Combustion is a process of a substance reacts with oxygen. Metals and non-metals react with oxygen and become their oxides. Reactions Metals Oxygen with metals Metal oxides are produced. 2Mg plus O2 gives 2MgO. 4Al plus 3O2 gives 2Al2O3. 4Fe plus 3O2 gives 2Fe2O3. These three reactions are slow at room temperature but become faster at higher temperature. In all such reactions, the metals lose their luster due to the oxide layer formed on the surface. Metals do not lose their luster in contact with air due to their low temperature. Oxygen reaction with nonmetals acidic nonmetal compounds are formed through the reaction of oxygen with nonmetals yes plus o2 gives so2 sulfur burns in air h2 plus o2 gives h2o hydrogen burns in air N2 plus O2 gives NO. Nitrogen combines with oxygen at high temperature. C plus O2 gives CO2, acidic compound. 2H2 plus O2 gives 2H2O, neutral compound. Six CO plus six H two O in the presence of light gives C six H twelve O six plus six O two. Oxygen is also found in air in a triatomic form that is called ozone. Is it possible to prepare oxygen in laboratory? Oxygen can be produced by heating KMnO four. That is potassium permanganate 2 KMnO4 plus heat gives K2MnO4 plus MnO2 plus O2 Burning magnesium in air produces magnesium oxide 2Mg plus O2 gives 2MgO C plus O2 gives CO2 Oxygen is used not only for respiration and combustion. Uses of oxygen In the production of steel To assist breathing In patients, divers, firefighters, mountaineers and astronauts To burn fuel in space rockets engines For natural degradation of materials etc oxygen is essential oxygen is produced industrially by the fractional distillation of liquefied air nitrogen 
The major element in the atmospheric air is nitrogen and it will come around 78%. It is an essential constituent of protein. It is inevitable for the growth and sustenance of living organisms. In the periodic table, nitrogen is in 15th group and 2nd period. Atomic number of nitrogen is 7 and its mass number is 14. Nitrogen is colorless. Nitrogen is inert among the gases, still it combines with oxygen at high temperature. N2 plus O2 gives 2NO. 2NO plus O2 gives 2NO2. Nitrogen dioxide is a gas highly soluble in water. It dissolves in rainwater to form nitric acid and reaches the soil. There it changes to nitrate salts by interacting with the minerals in the soil. The roots of plants take up these nitrate salts. During lightning, nitrogen is converted into nitric oxide, that is NO. It combines with more oxygen and becomes nitrogen dioxide. That is why it is said that lightning is good for plants. High temperature produced during lightning is the reason behind these reactions. Although plants are taking nitrogen from atmosphere, there is no scarcity. This is because of the nitrogen cycle. We can understand how nature manages the balance of atmospheric nitrogen and nitrates through nitrogen cycle. During lightning, nitrogen in the atmosphere is converted into nitric oxide and reaches soil. At the same time, through chemical fertilizers and bacteria, plants are getting nitrogen. Nitrogen returns to the atmosphere in a free form with the reaction of nitrifying bacteria when the dead plants and animals decompose. The balance of nitrogen is kept in the atmosphere because this process continues time to time. This happens mainly in some plants like beans. The bacteria called rhizobium living in the roots of some plants like beans can directly absorb nitrogen from the atmosphere and convert in to salts. The nitrogen thus converted to salts is stored as minerals in the root nodule and used by plants for their growth. The nitrates in nature are the other sources of nitrogen for plants. Plants get only a very small amount of nitrogen through lightning and microorganisms, where decomposition and decay of plants and animals provide large quantity of nitrogen to plants. It is possible by using organic fertilizers to a certain extent. Less availability and high price of organic fertilizers may humble us to choose chemical fertilizers. Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and sulfur are the main elements that plants should get through fertilizers. Among these, nitrogen is the most important one. The main material for the manufacture of fertilizers is ammonia gas. Ammonia can be prepared with a simple experiment. Chemical formula of ammonia is NH3. Density is less than that of air and it has got a strong smell. It is a colorless gas. Ammonia is prepared by heating a mixture of ammonium chloride with slaked lime. CA OH twice plus 2NH4Cl gives CaCl2 plus 2H2O plus NH3. 
large scale ammonia production is done through the Haber process. Ammonia is produced in the presence of induced iron and also by reacting nitrogen and hydrogen with high pressure in favorable temperature. This is known as Haber process. Nitrogen on reaction with hydrogen forms ammonia. N2 plus H2 gives NH3. N2 plus 3H2 gives 2NH3. The nitrate minerals in nature are the other sources of nitrogen for plants. The most important ones are saltpeter and chili saltpeter. Nitrogen is only slightly soluble in water and is comparatively unreactive. This unreactivity is due to the three covalent bonds which bind a pair of nitrogen atoms together. Reaction with Oxygen Nitrogen and oxygen do not react at normal atmospheric temperature, but in the heat of a combustion engine, they react to produce nitric oxide that is NO and nitrogen dioxide that is NO2. 2NO plus O2 gives 2NO2. Hydrogen 99% of the universe is hydrogen. The main component of the sun and the stars as well as the source of stellar energy is hydrogen. Hydrogen is given a specific position in the periodic table. Atomic number of hydrogen is 1 and it is the smallest atom. Hydrogen occurs as free hydrogen and also in the form of compounds. NH3, HCl, H2O, H2S are the important compounds of hydrogen. Hydrogen is seen in the form of isotopes also. Mainly there are three isotopes for hydrogen. Hydrogen isotopes are known as protium, deuterium and tritium. In this all atoms, atomic number will be equal and the mass number will be different. In tritium, there are no neutrons. The main compound of hydrogen is water. Just as water is formed by hydrogen combining with oxygen, heavy water is formed by deuterium atoms reacting with oxygen. Heavy water, that is D2O, is mainly used in nuclear reactors. Now let us produce hydrogen. Take diluted hydrochloric acid in a bottle and put zinc powder in it. Zinc plus hydrochloric acid plus zinc chloride plus hydrogen. Zn plus 2HCl gives is that NCl2 plus H2? Close the bottle end and then immerse the free end of the tube into a bucket containing soap solution. We can see that bubbles are coming from soap solution and this is hydrogen. Place lighted matchstick into this hydrogen bubbles. The gas burns with a pop sound. This is the peculiarity of hydrogen only. Collect this gas in a balloon. Tie the inflated balloon with a thread and leave it free. The balloon goes up. From this we can understand that the density of hydrogen is less than that of air. By this time, we have understood that hydrogen is a combustible gas. Then why can't we use hydrogen as a fuel? Combustibility of hydrogen is very high 
and is uncontrollable. It is possible even for an explosion. That is why hydrogen is not usable as a normal fuel. Fuel cells are special cells for producing electricity by the reaction between oxygen and hydrogen under specific conditions. Water is another product of this process. So, these cells are considered as pollution-free cells. This is mainly used in space travels. Chlorine Chlorine is the 17th group in the periodic table and it is the important one in that group. It is the most useful element in daily life. We use chlorine mainly for the purification of drinking water. Haven't you noticed the peculiar smell and taste of tap water? This is due to the dissolved chlorine added to water as part of its purification process. It is the oxidizing action of chlorine that makes water free of gems. Chlorine forms diatomic molecules. Chlorine occur in nature in the form of compounds only. Main chlorine compounds are KCl, AlCl3, MgCl2 and CaCl2. The reason behind this is the valency of chlorine and that is one. Capacity to gain electron is very high for chlorine. Because of these peculiarities, chlorine atom has high chemical reactivity. Hydrochloric acid on reaction with potassium permanganate forms potassium chloride, magnesium chloride, water, and chlorine. 16 HCl plus 2 KMnO4 gives 2 KCl plus 2 MnCl2 plus 8 H2O plus 5 Cl2. Take a small quantity of simple manganate and hydrochloric acid in a flask. Pass through the gas thus formed through concentrated sulfuric acid. Gas thus formed after this process is called chlorine. The reactants like HCl and KMnO4 react each other and the products formed are KCl, MnCl2, H2O and Cl2. To remove this, chlorine gas is passed through concentrated sulfuric acid. Drying agent character of sulfuric acid is used here. Density of chlorine is higher than air, so chlorine is collected by the upward displacement of air in the jar. Inhaling chlorine is dangerous, so during the experiment, you should keep the windows and doors open. Keeping ammonia solution is also good as anti-chlorine. Now let us understand another peculiarity of chlorine. Take petals of colorful flowers, green leaves, and colored pieces of clothes and wet them in water. Put them in a gas jar. Prepare chlorine and pass it through the jar. You can see that all the colored substances are colorless. Chlorine has the ability to bleach colored substances and make them colorless. Chlorine is used in garment industry for bleaching clothes because of this peculiarity. Some other important uses of chlorine. In the manufacture of pesticides, for preparing chlorofluorocarbons used in refrigerator and air conditioners, for making stain removers, for disinfecting drinking water. Bleaching powder is made by passing chlorine through dry slaked lime. CaOH twice on reaction with Cl2 forms Ca OH twice plus Cl2 gives CaOCl2 plus H2O. Ozone. 
Chlorine and its compounds are causing various environmental problems. Depletion of the ozone layer of the atmosphere is one among them. Ozone is formed by combining three oxygen atoms. It is in the stratosphere that ozone is mainly found. The equation of the formation of ozone 3 O2 in the presence of ultraviolet rays reversibly forms 2 O3. The energy for splitting up of oxygen is received by the absorption of ultraviolet rays. The atoms thus formed combine with the unbroken oxygen molecules to form ozone molecules. This ozone splits up into oxygen by absorbing ultraviolet rays. The reckless deeds of human beings cause danger to ozone. The main reason behind this is the uncontrollable emission of chlorofluorocarbon to the atmosphere. Chlorofluorocarbons Chlorofluorocarbons or CFCs are compounds formed by the combination of chlorine and fluorine with carbon. These can be liquefied easily under pressure and then they evaporate with a cooling effect. Hence, CFCs are extensively used in refrigerators, air conditioners, and air coolers. The chlorofluorocarbons which reach the atmosphere react with the ozone. This process depletes the quantity of ozone and causes imbalance in the oxygen-ozone cycle. So the ultraviolet rays coming from sun hits directly the earth. Excess ultraviolet rays reaching the earth will prove harmful to living organisms. The result is that human beings may get affected with skin diseases including skin cancer. So protecting ozone layer is important for our existence. To protect ozone layer, Prevention of chlorofluorocarbons reaching atmosphere Stop the overuse of refrigerators and ACs Plant trees in a big scale Only through this process we can save the earth and the living things The Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1995 was awarded jointly to Paul J. Curson, Mario J. Molina, and F. Sherwood Rowland for their work in atmospheric chemistry, particularly concerning the formation and decomposition of ozone.